Nagato is an SR battleship from the Sakura Empire, and like Queen Elizabeth of the Royal Navy is also a Lali faction leader. This also means that Nagato is one of the smallest member of the Big 7 being only bigger than Matsu thanks to her long pointy fox ears. Nagato together with Matsu also carried the biggest armament among the Big 7 which was basically playing dirty, but like the saying goes, it's not illegal if no one else knows about it. Because of this, the Nagato class gets to enjoy 410mm main armament caliber, while the others were stuck with 406mm gun. Nagato is an event ship available for construction during the Inkstained Sakura event. This means that as of now, there is no way to obtain her than waiting for the event rerun. Even then you will still have to pray hard to RNG to get her, because SR event ships are normally hard to get thanks to their low build rate. Nagato's stats are not really anything special when you compared her to other SR battleships. She gets an A4 firepower, a B for hit points, a D for anti-air and a D for speed. This stats might not look as great as other SR battleships above her, but looks can be deceiving. Because what Nagato lacks in stats compared to her counterparts she makes up with her skills. She might only have two skills, one is a support type skill and one is an offensive type skill, but both of them are extremely powerful and effective both in PvP and PvE battles. Her offensive skill is Big 7 Sakura which gives her 40% chance to fire a special barrage every time she fires a salvo with her main gun. The damage of this skill is based on skill level and this skill when maximumed out can pretty much wipe out all the on-screen enemies except for bosses in PvE and deal heavy damage to all ships it hits on PvP. This skill being a barrage type skill obviously requires Nagato to be in the middle or flagship position of your backline. But if you are still hesitating to put her on that position for some reason then here is another reason. Her supportive skill 4th combined. Fleet flagship lets her buff all your Sakura ships firepower by 10% as well as reload and accuracy by 20%. Additionally, this skill also lets Nagato buff the aviation of all your Sakura Empire carriers by 20%. However this skill will only take effect if Nagato is in the flagship position on your fleet. When it comes to equipment, Nagato is a really tricky one to deal with. The reason for this is that she can be used differently depending on the type of armament you will give her. When it comes to main armament, there are several options you can choose from depending on how you will use Nagato. For skill proc build, you can give her the gold twin 381mm advanced main gun also known as the hood gun. This gun has the perfect balance of reload time and damage per salvo. You could also give her the purple 410mm mounted gun as an alternative. Both options fires HG shells, so they are both effective in most of the target that you will be aiming at. If you want to do alpha damage instead you can give her the prototype triple 410mm gun. If you want to give her an AP gun or the triple 406mm MK6 main gun. If you want an HE gun instead. However if for whatever reason you want to give Nagato more AS stats you could give her the infamous 410mm mounted gun 3rd year type. This gun is completely useless in a gunfight and is basically the artillery version of throwing rocks at your enemies however it is the only BB gun that can be used as a manual air gun. This gun can help you deal with enemy planes and the shells can pretty much wipe out all the planes it makes contact with while in mid-flight, but this gun doesn't do any kind of noticeable damage to surface enemy, so it's mostly reserved for trolling CVs in PvP. This gun is more of a desperate option than an actual viable option for main gun though I personally use this on Nagato when doing sorties in chapter 12. However do keep in mind that giving Nagato this gun will reduce her into a manual AA battleship and she will lose a major damage source and will be limited to dealing damage with her secondaries and barrage skill. On the other hand this gun is close to the twin 381mm advanced gun so you can still rely on it for skill activation. For her secondary armament, I recommend the triple 155mm mounted gun also known as the Belfast gun. This gun is good damage, reload and best of all this gun fires HG shells, and considering that your secondary armament will be used mostly to deal with suicide boats that got past your vanguard, this gun is the best option. 
you could also give her the purple triple 152mm main gun as an alternative for her anti-air, considering that she will be dealing mostly with leftover planes that manage to get past the air screen of your vanguard, an air gun with good range and damage is your ideal option. For this kind of role, I personally recommend the 100mm mounted air gun for long range and high damage or the twin 105mm air gun SKC. The twin 113mm air gun is also a good option as well. You could also give her the twin 40mm Bother Stug. This gun has additional bonus hit rate stats. The additional hit stats is a great addition if you are going for the main gun alpha damage build. For her auxiliary, I recommend the type 1 piercing shell for her to increase her firepower and hit rate. Additionally, this auxiliary also has a passive skill that increases the main gun critical damage by 25% making it a solid option. You can also give her the purple fire control radar instead, if you don't have the gold type 1 piercing. For her second auxiliary, the SG radar is the one that I recommend to increase her hit rate even farther which is certainly helpful in dealing damage during the time when your barrage skill fails to proc. You could also give her the super heavy shell, and like the type 1 piercing, this auxiliary also have a passive skill which increases the main gun crit rate by 8% making it a good tandem with the type 1 piercing shell. For fleet arrangement. Due to her skills, Nagato is restricted to being used as a flagship, putting her in other position will make her practically a useless ship, since her supportive skill can only activate if she is in the flagship position. Her barrage skill is also another thing, since this type of skill is mostly useful when the ship firing it is in the flagship position. She is best paired with the first carrier division to boost their aviation even farther. Other carrier duos such as the 2nd and 5th carrier division are also viable options as well. She could also be used as a solo backline, since Nagato just needs to be in the flagship position. To be useful however it's ideal to put her on a Sakura Empire fleet to get the most out of her skills. That's it for this video, and I hope that this has been informative in some ways and as always, this are just my recommendation and everyone is free to either use it or ignore it. For next week, we will be talking about the carriers from the first carrier division, Akaji and Kaga. Well then, I will see you guys around.